How's it going everybody? In this video, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go over an e-bike from the company GoTrax. This is the GoTrax Dolphin. And what this is, this is a 350 watt, kind of like step through class two e-bike. And what I wanna do, I'm gonna go over, like start back here at the back and kind of work my way to the front and kind of go over the components and what my overall opinion is on this thing and give you a ride test. So let's go ahead and let's, um, let's get into it now. Okay, starting back here with the tires. The tires on this thing are 26 by 2.0. 2.1 which is more like an all-around type bike tire you can see this does not this is not a fat tire and it's not a thin tire it's kind of a medium tire bike so you can see that right there and I had found these tires have been really good for all-around riding whether it's a little bit of off-road some on trail riding and all that I had no issues at all so it's a hub motor and it's branded 500 watt of peak power to it and I have been very impressed with it's a little 350 watt motor by the way it's a seven speed shifting it's a Shimano shifter in the back but I had no issues at all on this derailleur and the shifting on it has adjustment here it does not have a derailleur guard so you want to be careful running up on curbs or laying it down or hitting right there that's something you might want to just keep in mind on that and it is a 160 mil rotors with mechanical disc brakes actually there's some specs back here on the back max speeds 20 miles per hour max rider is 264 pounds so the seat right here by the way this does not have a tail light on it, it has a reflector on it this is my own little tail light and i'll tell you where i got that thing from the seat is a little stiff but you know what for the price i think it's more than adequate for the price and it has a handle right here with hand grips how about that for lifting it up and putting it on a car or a bike rack or something like that it is a step through design that's what this design is there is a spot back here for a fender but it does not come with a fender what go tracks did they wanted to make this very affordable option for someone that could kind of upgrade their bike along the way pretty small pedals but you know what they are metal these are metal and they do have spikes on them so i do like that to remove the battery you do not need the key to run this thing to remove the battery you're going to turn the key right there push this button and then this battery comes right off and you can see right here the sizing on the battery is a 36 volt 7.0 amp hour and it's a 280.8 watt hour battery and the charger they sent with this thing is a 1.8 charger and it takes around about five to six hours to completely charge this battery it's not a super big battery but i was impressed on the range on this battery you can ride it like i said without the key i just put it in the key in here just for the purpose of this video it does have a front shock on it but it's not lockable or adjustable it's just your basic front shock seemed to work just fine for me once again the 26 by 2 tire it has a quick release to take the front tire off it has a spot here for mounting a fender and a spot up here for mounting a headlight that does not come with a headlight came with a reflector because once again they're wanting to make this affordable and if you want to add your own headlight like I did I have the red comets headlight up here you can do that and it was very simple and easy I actually like these headlights better than the bike headlights that come on these bikes anyway 160 millimeter rotors on the front mechanical jack disc brakes in the front So moving on up here to like your cockpit area you can see right here the handlebar design is a sweep back style handlebar design which is very comfortable for like light duty commuting and kind of like around city type traffic this handlebar setup is very good it's not your bmx style or your kind of straight bar style that comes on the most of the foldable e-bikes so it's more of a comfortable riding style and i think a lot will like this better you can adjust the handlebars by the way there's there's spacers right here so if you want to go lower with the handlebars and then you have a stem adjustment i actually like the fact that how they made this adjustable because i think you could go anywhere from maybe five foot to about maybe six seven on this thing i was surprised on how high you can go with these handlebars you know it's a thumb shifter it was very easy here to upshift or downshift and upshift was easy to control right there has a thumb throttle on the right hand side where you can easily control it and use the thumb throttle by the way do not go over nine newton meters of power so if you're strong like me you've got to be careful or you'll break your thumb throttle right off this is where they had the most cost savings on this bike you notice there's no display at all that's why my phone holder's right here so i can have my phone usually my phone's my speedometer and my gps and all that anyway but there's no display here what you do get it is a small little packet right here that's got an up a down and let me just kind of like go through some of the features for y'all so turn it on 
you're gonna hold this down, hold that down for like three seconds, you see what it does. So it's got a low and high as far as a battery meter there and PAS, which is pedal assist mode. It's gonna go from nothing, which is on zero right now, all the way up to five. And to go through the pedal assist modes, you got an up right here. See how it's just a red dot that goes all the way up to five and then you can go back down right there. You hold this down and it has like a walk mode. Check it out. When you hold this down, see how it starts taking off on you? It does have like a walk mode for walking across bridges or like walking through traffic or something like that. You wanna get off and walk. They have a headlight here, but there's obviously no headlight on this. And then a power button and that's pretty much it. You're done. And it, there's no horn. They have a little bell and you know what? I am not a fan of bells, but it works. <laughs> this this bell does work. Their range is actually pretty close to what they claim, considering the size of this battery. This is a very small battery, because look at it. They want it to be more like a light duty type bike. It's very light. It's not your traditional e-bike that I have one e-bike that weighs close to 100 pounds. So yeah, so this thing is like half of that, by the way. I did do a, a ride test of this where I did zero all the way up to uh, pedal assist five and using throttle only and give you an idea of what your top speed's gonna be of each one. So let's do that now. Okay, everybody, now that I'm gonna do the speed test, let me just kind of like show you where I'm at. So i am still got three dots left on the battery indicator. So two dots of battery. And my top speed today has been amazing 28 miles per hour and that's going downhill with my weight and my average has been nine miles per hour and my duration has been 55 minutes and you can see i've stopped but let me go ahead and do just kind of like a baseline of pedal only and i'm going to go from this pole right here to a wooden pole right down there so let's go ahead and let's try to do this now let's just keep like a smooth cadence there's three gear three And this is what I was saying about this bike. I'm cruising 16 with just the pedals. So it's a decent little bike. It's not heavy at all. It's a light bike. How about that, everybody? 19 miles per hour, and I'm not pedaling that hard. I don't know if you can see my leg. This is just a smooth pedal. This is pedal assist one. You go up right there. You can see that. I'm on zero, so let's go. Took maybe two rotations to fill the power that's maxed right there pedal assist one maxes at eight miles an hour it's not going to go any faster pedal assist two but there's not much difference between one and two from what i see how about three three there was a big change okay from two to three i went from nine to 12 pedal assist four okay once again i felt a difference in that i could feel it kick in a little harder 14 miles an hour on four let's turn around and do five so i'm going to go back the other way because there's a road right here all right pedal assist four we're in 14 15 pedal assist five this is full noticeably dis difference between four and five 18 19 little bit of a hill here so i don't count it and i'm ghost pedaling at 21. because it's got a small sprocket in the front you will start ghost pedaling at 21. i think you could hold 18 and 5. now obviously this would blow your battery out i actually dropped down one dot already the temperatures out here are pretty cold today by the way pedal sys 5 i think you're going to get right at 19 miles an hour max and it, like i said i'm not pedaling overly hard you can see how fast i'm going there i'm not like hammering down this is just normal Woo. but where where it falls short is in that little bumpy area there gotta get out of that see it's some vibration there okay i already did pedal assist one through five now i'm going to do throttle only from a complete stop and see what my max speed is for throttle only so let's do that What I'm gonna do is go to the top of this hill. Actually, I feel it's almost maxed out now. And throttle only doesn't matter if you're in one through five, it's all the same. See, look, it doesn't slow it down. Only when it's off will you tell the difference. Throttle only, well, I almost hit a tree. Throttle only, I'm looking at 19, carrying my weight on the flats. 
Pretty impressive, 19 miles per hour with throttle only. It's a right hand throttle also, so you got this left hand free for signals and all that. Let me try to do a quick brake test. I'm gonna get it up to 20, and then I'm gonna try to stop it and see how it stops. So let's get right there at that bench. So here we go. About 15 foot. So the thing is, when you get in this type of pedestrian traffic, you can't just go down to like one or two, and that way it limits your speed to like eight, nine miles an hour. So you're not really going that fast. So, but then you got to keep in mind the throttle will always stay like open. So this little motor is carrying me up this hill, and this incline's not like super steep, probably 20 degrees. Very comfortable with the sweep back bars right here. The levers feel good, they're short and they're curled, so they have a good feel to them, good two finger pull. Bell's a little far in to hit. The control panel here, I guess what you would call that, not really a display. You gotta get up, down, the power, all of it's right here, easily accessible. So this is gonna be a pretty good range test. I'm just gonna ride it until the battery's out. It just went down to uh, the one dot, so we're on one right now. Ooh, I heard those rad powers go. Those things are loud. <laughs> so I'm just gonna ride this out and see how far it goes until we run completely out. Right now I'm feeling no drop in power. All right, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and call it right here. So let's just say two hours, 16 minutes because I did stop here and there, but the, I never turned it off. It stayed on the entire time. And my average speed was nine and my top speed was 28. My distance is 18.3, but I get a feeling I could easily max this out at about 25 miles with my weight. With my weight, which is around about 180, 185, I feel I could get easily 22, 25 miles out of this little small battery, which is pretty impressive when you think about it. All right, everybody, there's the walkthrough and specs and my ride test of this GoTrax Dolphin. So who is this bike good for? I think this would be a great option for anyone that's looking to get as their first bike or an additional bike to maybe one that you already have and you want more, say you're like me and you got like a big fat tire bike that's more like a beast and you wanna get something in more light duty that's more of a bicycle mixed with an e-bike, I highly recommend this GoTrax Dolphin. This thing actually fits that perfect at a very affordable cost. Yeah, it doesn't have a lot of the features that most bikes have, but you know what? With using this Red Comments Lite, this phone holder, and this little brake light back here, I pretty much put everything that I need on it. I might buy a rack and put a cheap rack on the back and set that up, but I don't need fenders. I don't need all that. I like how light it is. I like how affordable it is and how you can kind of throw this thing around, throw it in the back of my van, take it on the back of a truck. I'll leave links below for this whole setup that I have right here and what, the way I have this one set up because I think this is something that'll be great option for anyone that's wanting a second bike or just kind of like a first timer bike and they just want to kind of get something that's affordable that can kind of do everything. So yeah, there it is everybody. That's all I got today on the GoTrax Dolphin. See y'all in the next video.